Hello gentlemen today i will make you understand how to fit up a flange horizontally on an existing spool see this is our existing spool we will install flange horizontally this is our well neck flange you can see this is our well neck flange we'll install here so before installing we have to make marking on well neck flange so let's go for marking now we will make marking how we will mark we will take the reference here you can see we have already marked you can see we will draw a straight line we will draw here straight line in the same way we will draw here you can see we have marked already we will draw this line understand we will draw this in the same way we will draw here so now we will draw here we will draw here this is the way how we will mark on the surface to to make marking on well neck flange so now we have this well neck flange you can see here well neck flange we have to mark this hole this hole in between and this hole and this hole so how we will mark we will mark like this way tangent we will mark here tangent so you can see here in the same way we will mark here we will mark here and we will mark here now we have to mark in this flange so we will keep here let's see how we have marked here see we will draw a tangent here okay then we'll take here same way we'll draw here same way we'll draw here you can see now what we'll do we'll make straight line so we have made the straight line now we will take we will make it this line match with this line 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 if it is match we will make it down marking so check this one you can see see you can see we will draw a line here then after we will draw here you can see here here down you can see here also in that down match with the line we will draw here in the same way we will keep here
<laughs> see, you can see here, we will draw here, this line, you can see here, this line, we will make it like this way, in the same way, we will do here, somewhere we will do here also we will draw a line here this line also we draw in the same way we will do here that should be straight you can see we will draw a line here now in the same way we will draw this line here also you can see here top of the line here also we will draw here you can see here we have already the mark white one in the top also we will do here you can see here we have already mark now now we have already marked here you can see this line is matching through this line 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 see you can see already it is aligned with the line now this marking help us to install on horizontally on existing spool now we have already marked, we will install here. So we will put the gap rod here, we will install, matching, match with the winds. See. Now we will match with the lines. You can see here, white marking we have. This, this marking, we will match this marking, and this marking, we will match this marking. Now you can see here, also we will match this marking through the up marking. See, now what we will do, we have L squared, we will check here, The alignment is right. You can see here. The alignment is right. See, it's matching. There is no gap. Also, there is no gap. There is no gap. Also, there is no gap. There is no gap. Now, we will check whether this alignment is right or wrong. So, how we will check? We will check with the L square. So, we will keep this L square like this way now we will measure the length from pipe to L square see we have 237 millimeter here You can see here, you can see here, we have here 237 millimeter. Also here 237 millimeter, 38 or 37, see also we have 37 millimeter. You can see here 237 millimeter. So it means the same difference from the pipe to L square is same. It means the alignment of the elbow is right. Now, next step, how to check? We'll check with the plumber. We have this plumber here. We have this plumber here. How we'll check? We'll check first here. You can see here. 
that line should be it should be fall on the line see is fall on the line it means it is right second it is fall on the line it means it is right next what we will do we will check through spirit level we have here spirit level you can see here we have spirit level also we will check this way see you can see here in between it means the alignment is right see now we will check this way you can see here the alignment is right now next step what we will do we will make tuck wheel understand we will make tuck wheel how we will make tuck wheel we have the we have the gap here gap should be 2.4 plus minus 0.8 mm understand now we will make tuck wheel here then after we will make tuck wheel here this the gap should be 2.4 plus minus 0.8 mm according to aws here also we will make tuck wheel now also we will make tuck wheel here see we will make tuck wheel here so guys you understand this is the process how to fit up flange on existing spool understand also you need to focus the level of the existing spool see you can check the level of the existing spool with spirit level thank you for watching if you have any comments comment in the comment box thanks for watching thanks for cooperation